Hey, welcome back, explorers. Today, we're at another abandoned farmhouse. A beautiful home. Uh, behind me, you can see there's one part of the house that's original, probably early 1900s, I'm thinking. And then maybe they put an addition on it in the 70s or 60s. But that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm pretty sure the house is going to be demolished for new development. They're putting a whole bunch of malls, uh, plazas in here. Uh, so I'm assuming that this one's going to get demolished as well. But a friend of mine named Rick gave me this uh, location. Told me to check it out. Appreciate it, buddy. Can't wait to go inside and take a look. Let's go. Wow. Beautiful staircase. The staircase is actually called a, a block staircase. You got the treads here, and there's no risers on it. Very nice. This place is very clean. So like they moved out and totally just boarded it right up right after. It was actually here a while ago when they first boarded it up. But it was all boarded up. It wasn't open. But that's what happens with these houses when they board them up and people f drive by and see them boarded up. It's a giveaway, right, that they're abandoned, and kids usually will uh, come in or rip the boards off, see if there's anything nice. Oh, look at this. Names in the wall here. So this is the older part for sure. Like this house is like probably early 1900s I'm thinking all upgraded windows there all nice vinyl oh, wow this house is huge Just huge. Beautiful fireplace there. What's in here? He's painting there. I guess this could be the front door, I'm not sure. There's a few doors in this place. Look at this. It's like a food cellar. Yeah, like they, it's like they, they vacuumed it. You could tell they vacuumed this place before they seal, sealed it all up. But you can see the boards here. Tons of windows in this room, but. I don't know if you could hear it, but uh, there's machines on the property next door here. And they're already started doing the construction over there so I'm assuming this one's going to be the same probably be demolished 
for new homes or plazas. There's a lot of strip malls and plazas around here. This is a beautiful room, this one. Look at the windows. I love how they sink in like that, it's so nice. But yeah, they gotta salvage these windows. These windows are in very good condition, vinyl. It's all custom. Well, let's go upstairs here. I don't think there's power, no. Bunch of dead flies there. Very yellow here. Just a bathtub in here. That's weird. No sink. But then you got the sink here. And toilet. Oh, here's the stairs. Oh man, this house goes on forever. Oh man, what's this? Oh, cobwebs, big time. There's always a lone chair in a house, always. Someone always leaves one chair. That's a nice one, looks like an electrical recliner. Here are nice windows, all wood. Walk-in closet. I don't know what this is, might maybe I think this is a master bedroom I'm thinking. Very large master bedroom. Another closet. It's very choppy this house, like there's just rooms everywhere. It's easy to get lost. But yeah, I'm assuming that there's a, the, the original house, it's probably early 1900s. And then they did a big addition. Maybe back in the 70s or something. Like this is the original part in here. Like they totally vacuumed in here. You know what, I'm sorry, but I would never vacuum. If I was moving out and I got my money from the developers, I would just leave it. They're gonna demolish it, but they wanted to vacuum, so. 
It's okay, I guess. A pink door. That's cute. All right, let's move on here. I think I got all the rooms up here. There's another door. Side door. Pretty big kitchen. Very old, outdated, that's for sure. What's down here? Oh, another. Laundry room, I guess. There's another bathroom here. This here is like a trap door in the floor. Oh, what's that? Crawl space. They have the they have the dryer pipe hooked up into the crawl space. Maybe to heat the crawl space up. I don't know, I wouldn't do that. The moisture and the heat that'd probably cause mold. What do we got here? We got the basement here. Probably clean. There's a mouse trap, but not even set. Oh, it's open down here too. There's another way in there. Somebody must have ripped that off. Yeah, see, look at this. This is all original. Original stone. Look at the beams. It's definitely the original part of the house. We got a snake for plumbing here. I think that's an old concrete, concrete laundry tub. This thing's weigh like 400 pounds. All right, let's get out of here. I think I, I think I hit everywhere. It's like carpet wallpaper. Oh, here's the front door. Look how wide that is. It's definitely not a standard size, that's for sure. It's got to be 40 inches wide. Usually 36 inches is a standard door size for a front door. Enough room to get your couch and washer and dryer in, but that one's pretty, pretty wide. I love the walls in here. It's like barn wood. So nice.
see what's down here. I guess this is probably the other, the other basement here, because this is the addition now. We're in the addition part. Ooh. Ooh, it's cold down here. Oh yeah, we got a bit of mold happening. What oh, we got? An old school flat screen TV, Sony. Bet your hundred bucks it probably still works. But who's gonna carry that out? That thing probably weighs 300 pounds. Yeah, we're getting a bit of water coming in now. So we're gonna get some mold happening here pretty soon. Especially with these windows all boarded up. A lot of the houses I've seen when they board them up, they'll leave the upstairs windows open and have the screens open just so it could breathe. That's if they're gonna save the house though. This house they might not even care. Seal it up so nobody gets hurt. That's the major issue with these houses. Like I've been stopped before and they just don't want people getting injured in these houses. Because technically, they could probably be sued, right? All right, I think we're gonna go outside and check out the pool. And before I go, I'd like to say thank you to Mickey and Louie, Brenda, Carla, Margaret, Laura, Edward, Jennifer, and Evelyn for buying me a coffee on my coffee page. Really appreciate it, guys. You're awesome people. If you guys like the night too, you're welcome to do so. In all my videos, in the description, there's a link there where you can buy me a coffee. But I really appreciate it, guys. It's awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys on the next explore.